The problem is, is that what we're doing is looking at this case backwards through a lens of what should have happened, what could have happened, what would have changed things had things happened. And that's not the way our law uh, I don't think can that's what we're work. looking at. What we're looking at is what actions or inactions did the two defendants have that led to this shooting? Well, now, we're not second guessing them. We're just saying what things did they do or not do that led to these events? And that's because that's, that's causation, right? Well, the, the thing they did not do is plot and plan these murders and hold a weapon and shoot people in cold blood in a school. Can you stay behind the podium, please? I'm so, I'm so sorry. Right. Sorry. And that's that's the main point. That's what they did not do. Um, anything else they could have done, like get him into therapy sooner, look in his backpack, go through his cell phone, um, go through his room, pick apart anything. Those are all things that in hindsight, parents always wish they had done when a problem occurs or they find something like this out. The problem is, is that extending that kind of liability for failure to open a backpack or failure to give a hug or failure to do one of those things ends up opening this unlimited liability to every parent across the state.